G'day guys, Liam Fitzpatrick here. I'm smack bang in the middle of suburbia today. I've got um, a little bit of time to have a flick. And I've spotted these fish over the last couple of weeks. I've been checking out this little suburban creek. Initially I saw a few tilapia mooching under lily pads. And then after this flood event, I've come down and there's been a couple carp. Yesterday there was like a dozen carp. I've already seen one mooch in the edge. I can hear one sucking and kissing up in this little stream where it comes out. Just brought the fly rod. I was gonna try and get some of these carp on fly. Don't expect any elegant back casting or tight loops. It's just uh, tight country. It's pretty much gonna be just lobbing a fly. Just bow and arrow cast or just dropping it down from the bank in front of them, see what happens. But they're not as thick as they were yesterday, but they're definitely still in here. Like I said, middle of suburbia, fly fishing. Here we go. So today I'm just running, it's a little damsel pattern. Andy Bolch gave me a couple of these at the carp comp recently. I've got a little olive tied on. It's uh, I figure this kind of little puddle, little pond of a bit of creek, dragonfly larvae, creature bait. I reckon it'll get neat. When I first got here, there was a fish cruising this edge. The other day, there was like a dozen of them just mooching out here. There was one mudding in close. There's a fish out there, I can see his lips. I'm not gonna rush it, I'll just wait. I think there's still a fish underneath me on this undercut bank. I honestly don't think I'll be casting much. It's just gonna be a matter of dropping this in front of them. Watch their little lips go. You can hear them sucking up and feeding in the undercut bank over there. We got time, we'll hit this patch. If we spook one or two, we'll get one. I'm gonna go for a bit of an explore up this creek. Just running the old cheapo combo pack. Nine foot, five to six weight. I've got a better quality scientific anglers floating line on there. And I'm just running a tapered leader. Comes down to about eight pound, I think it is. And just that tiny little Andy Bolt fly. Really want a good visual. I don't want to go making just a big blind cast out there. I want to be able to see that fish so I can see his lips take that bait in. A bit of sunshine will help. Uh, we're gonna have to put a stalk on these fish over here. Definitely out there. I was tempted to throw a little surface fly on, a little moth or a little hopper. But I just haven't fished these fish before, so I'm not too sure what they want to eat. There is a fish in that little drainage. Oh, there's a fish right there. This is seriously off the rod tip. There's half a dozen fish mudding in this tiny little bit of a creek in front of me here. Oh no, he missed it. He ate that and I missed him. Come forward, yeah, 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 do that buddy. Oh, he moved. How do they just disappear? Where'd the, oh, there he is, going back the other way. 
when he comes back out we've got a shot here oh there's one oh spooked him and now I'm up in a tree Damn it. Oh, I can see one out wide. I can see two out wide. I just don't know if they'll chase the fly down or if I've got to be able to see him eat it. Oh, this guy. Yep, got him. <laughs> he raced over to eat that. You can see him coming along with his little lips going. He wanted that. Just patiently waiting. As soon as he come along with his lips out. There you go, suburban carp. It's legit a drainage ditch down the back of some houses and it's stacked full of carp. I didn't even cast. I just dropped it off the rod tip. Yeah, first little carp. Suburban fly fishing. No crazy wild mountain streams here, man. Just mud suckers and a danky old creek. Man, he scoffed that fly too. It is way down there. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. There you go. Andy Bolts, good work, man. Worked a treat. All right, got my first one. Definitely a heap in there. They're just like, cruising through. I just stood still, just waited for my chance, got that fly in front of that dude. Like, didn't even cast. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, pest fish, Queensland, the rules vary around the country where some places you can release certain pest fish, best not. Queensland, dispose, dispatch, don't translocate. Knock them on the head, kill them humanely, get them out of our waterways. We're just going to rest these fish, give it a second, and then see if I can't get another one. Then we'll go for a bit of a trek up creek, see what we find. Stand here still again for a minute and see if anyone else comes mooching along. I would have expected that that fight would have spooked a few fish from this area, but we'll give it five and then we'll push up, have a look. Oh, there's one. He's moving around. Yep. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Man, that's cool. Stood there long enough. He come mooching past. And another one. He's still not huge. But that'll probably do us for here. We'll let this settle now after this guy. That is pretty cool. They've got such a cool identifying trait when they eat. You just see those lips go, oh, yep, he ate it. If you can't see those lips, it makes it a little harder. Oh, he's got a mate with him. Oh, there's three of them following him around. I wonder if I can get a hook out of him quick and get another fly back out there.
There you go, second carp. Mad little session, like dead set. Suburban Creek, chock a block with these things, unfortunately. But it's another one out of the system. I'll dispatch that one and go find some more. We'll go for a look upstream. Oh, there's one down there. I spooked them but they went down. Oh. oh he spotted me. How did he spot me? Oh there's one mooching up that way. Man this thing is full of carp. There's one hiding under that lily pad. I might get a shot at him. There he goes he's coming out. Yep. <laughs> How cool is that? No, that's a lot of lily pads to go around. He's around those lilies. There he goes, steer him out. Oh, don't go for the logs. Oh man. How cool was that? There's definitely two way bigger than him. He was just sulking under the lily pads. Watched him cruise out. That was a bit of a bow and arrow cast. One just spooked here. Just popped it out in front of me. Didn't quite see it. And I did a little strip strip, got it in his line of sight. And he ate that. All right, this is cool fun. Can't tell me spotting, stalking fish, side casting them with a fly rod is not cool fun. There's muddy water coming down. There's definitely a fish up here mudding. This guy's a bit better. Oh, there's a big guy coming there. Yeah, it's good fun. Good clean fun. Finished now buddy? Had enough? Yeah, one more lap. Okay, go one more lap. Got him. Not a huge carp still by any means, but bloody good fun. Here we go, third carp for the session. How cool is that? There's carp mooching all through this bloody little hole. Just ate that little Andy Bulge damsel pattern. Just good fun, man. Absolutely great fun. Uh, he's a boy. They're probably in there getting ready to breed. That's why they're all aggregating like that. We'll get him out. One less for the system. I don't know if you'll pick that up, but there's people mowing their lawns, going about their daily business. I'm just down here spotting and stalking car. Bloody good times. Baby water dragons. There's a couple of them down there. Oh, here comes one. Ready to go, turn back in that shadow line. The amount of little bugs and stuff falling on the surface, I'd have thought I'd have seen them. Here he comes, here he comes. Oh man, he ate that. I didn't see him go, but I saw the line tick. He fully ate that. I cooked it. 
He was a way bigger fish. Yeah, there's no point hanging around now. That was cool. We'll get him. We'll come back for him. Nine foot fly rod's a bit much for this, I think. Oh my God. There is a big carp right in front of me. I'm gonna have to do this off the rod tip, man. Oh, he ate it. <sighs> Damn it. I was in the worst position then. Damn it. He's a good fish. Big goldy looking fella. He just appeared out of nowhere right in front of me. I need to rush. I can see bubbles coming up front this way. There's something going on over there. The fish could come mooching past. A few bloody carp in here. I don't think there was that many. There's plenty in here. Three less now though. Can't believe I've cooked two. Didn't exactly see their lips go, but saw the line tick. So that probably gives them an extra split second to feel it. Let's go for another look. That's the end of the session. Got three, missed three easy eats. A couple little spooks sort of, but yeah, definitely got three. Definitely missed some bigger fish. It's crazy, just this little puddle. I went a fair way up and there didn't seem to be much up there. I'm gonna have a little quick explore down, see if I see much for next time. But that's good. It's that little, look, four, five, five, six weight. Little five, six weight, cheap little hundred buck bloody combo just roll a better line on there tapered leader a little andy bolch nymph mayfly pattern something i don't know what it's called i know it catches yeah suburban fly fishing carp on fly it's good fun oh cheers for watching guys catch you next time He fully ate that. I cooked it. <laughs>